Hey there, Touchboards Nation. It's Anthony here. Now, I want to show you how to use the Barcode ClickShare CSE 200. So, I've kind of got this set up already, but I want to show you just how ridiculously easy this thing is to use. And trust me, it is simple. So, we've got our ClickShare unit here. For our purposes, it's right in front of me, and this TV is right in front of me. But you can put this on your wall behind your LCD screen, hide it, you know, wherever you want to put it, it's up to you. Now, let's say this is your conference room. You've got laptops, you've got tablets, you've got all kinds of stuff you want displayed up there. So right now the ClickShare is hooked up, so you're going to see your instructions on how to connect. And it's really easy. First, I want to show you the buttons. Now, the ClickShare 200 here comes with two buttons. You'll see one of them right here. Here's the other one. Now, all you got to do is plug it into your Mac or PC. A little thing's going to pop up saying it's connecting, it's ready to go, and you're all set. When it's a solid white ring on here, it's connected to the ClickShare and ready to go. You'll also see that reflect down here by the power button. Now, it's plugged into my laptop, it's ready. I push the button, and there you go. This is my laptop screen. I can scroll up and down, do whatever I want to do. There it is. Tell me that was difficult. If I'm done and want to walk away, there you go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, but then again, yeah, I mean, how easy is that, right? So the button here communicates directly with the ClickShare device. So your laptop is on your house Wi-Fi. You don't have to worry about changing networks or anything. You plug in this USB, you push the button, and there you go. It's that simple. Now, we can also connect with our tablets. The ClickShare supports AirPlay. Uh, so iPads are just going to work right out of the box. If you have Android tablet, you can download the app. And the way these work is you're going to have to put them onto the ClickShare network. So right now, the ClickShare is not connected to the internet. There's no Cat5 cable running into it. So when my iPad connects to this Wi-Fi, it's not accessing the internet anymore. Hook this up to your network, and I can still access the Wi-Fi through my iPad. So you may want to do that. But I've went ahead and changed uh, the iPad to read this Wi-Fi. And um, we're just going to go here, activate AirPlay mirroring. It's going to come up saying barcode click share. I tap on it, and there you go. There's my iPad screen. So I'm now streaming my iPad right here. I can go and stream my laptop right here. So you can see them side by side. So the button connected to the laptop is showing red. That means it's connected. And anyone who looks at the screen is going to see it. If I turn off the button just by tapping it, laptop screen goes away, iPad takes over. If I turn the iPad, you'll see it flip on the screen. Let's say now someone else comes in with their laptop, plugs in the button, and they push it. It's going to pop up on the right-hand side. The display on the left is there the longest, so they may move around throughout the course of your presentation, depending on who's connecting. And keep in mind, you can't have 16 devices connected at any given time. So I can have two laptops with both, you know, the buttons, and I can have up to 14 tablets connected. At any point, you can just turn on uh, AirPlay on or off, push the buttons on the button, and you can change who's displaying up on the screen. If you ask me, this is the simplest and easiest way to display content from your computers and your tablets. I mean, it's just awesome. And using AirPlay, you know, you're going to have your iPad screen right up there, so you can open up literally anything. Uh, I don't really have anything in particular to show on here because there's not a whole lot on it. But you get the idea. So there you have it. I'll turn that off. I can turn my iPad off by just turning off AirPlay mirroring. And we're back to our instruction screen. And one other really cool thing about the barcode click share is this screen you see here. This is what, what shows up on your display when nothing's connected. It just gives you some instructions on how to connect. You've got a Barco logo down here, this ClickShare logo. 
you can actually configure this entire thing. So not only you can have it join your network, but you can change this screen to have your company logo or your school logo, university logo, whatever it is, it can be up there. So that way when you're in your large conference room, you've got guests coming in to present or to view a presentation, they're gonna see that screen and go, wow. All right, so in addition to the barcode ClickShare 200, we have the ClickShare CSE 800. Now the 800 is the 200's big brother. So as you can see, it's a pretty significant difference in size. This is a major upgrade. So the 800 means you can have eight users. That means up to eight displays simultaneously over two screens. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the 800 is gonna go in your larger meeting spaces with multiple displays, probably 4K. This does support 4K resolution. Uh, you've got uh, two outputs on here, so you can feed it into two displays. So again, rooms that that'll have two LCDs, maybe for a video conferencing system, this is gonna work great in there. So like the smaller click share, you can have multiple people on the display at the same time. With the 200, it was two. With the 800, it can be up to eight. So that'll show up to four displays on each display, or four devices on each display, totaling eight. So if you're outputting to actually two LCDs, you can show eight different devices at the same time. That's pretty wild. You've got dual band Wi-Fi in here, 2.4 and five gigahertz. So you can actually isolate it from your in-house Wi-Fi if you wanted to do so. Uh, another pretty cool feature is moderator mode. So when you talk about having, you know, eight people being able to display on screen at the same time and even more connected, everybody's going to be pushing their buttons and, and trying to display. That can get a little out of hand. So you can appoint a moderator who's going to control who's being shown on screen when. So I can push my button, but until the moderator okays it, it's not going to go up there. So speaking of buttons, the 800 comes with four of them in this nifty little button holder, kind of like a cup holder. You just put it on your table. Looks real cool. Buttons just lift out. Again, these are not powered. There's no batteries. You don't have to charge them. You just stack them up in here, leave them on the table and walk away. When you're ready, you grab one, plug it into your laptop, turn it on, and there you go. Push that button and you're connected. Well, folks, there you have it. You've got your ClickShare CSE 200 and your ClickShare CSE 800, possibly the easiest way to wirelessly connect and display in your conference room or boardroom. Give us a call if you have any questions. We'll be more than happy to help you out and get you a killer price on these. 866-942-6273.